Bruce and the Spider There was once a king of Scotland whose name was Robert Bruce. He had need to be both brave and wise, for the times in which he lived were wild and rude. The king of England was at war with him and had led a great army into Scotland to drive him out of the land. Battle After battle have been fought. Six times had Bruce led his brave little army against his foes, and six times had his men been beaten and driven into flight. At least his army was scattered, and he was forced to hide himself in the woods and in lonely places among the mountains. On one rainy day, Bruce lay on the ground under the wood shelf, listening to the pattern of the drops of the roof above him. He was tired and sick at heart, and ready to give up all hope. It seems to him that there was no use of him to try to do anything more. As he had lain, thinking, he saw a spider over his head, making ready to wave her web. He watches her as she told it slowly and with great care. Six times she tried to throw her foil thread from one beam to another, and six times it fell short. Poor things, said Bruce. You too know what it is to fail. But the spider didn't lose hope with six figure. With still more care, she made her ready to try for the seventh time. Bruce almost forgot his own troubles as he watched her swing herself out upon the slender line. Will she fail again? No. The thread was carried safe, safely to the beam and fastened there. I, too, will try a seventh time, cried Bruce. He arose and called his men together. He told them of his plan and sent them out with messages of the cheer to his disheartened people. Soon there was an army of brave Scotsmen around him. Another battle was fought, and the king of England was glad to go back into his own country. I have heard it said that after that day, no one by the name of Bruce would ever hurt a spider. The lesson which the little creatures had taught the king was never forgotten.